Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Sunday afternoon live sale. How's everybody doing today? Oh, oh it is going across the bottom. Oh, my goodness. No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'll wait for a few more people to come on. See if anybody's um, oh. um. Oops. <laughs> oh goodness, you think I just learned how to type? Mm -hmm. There we go. I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna bring it up. Are we going to have another problem like we did before? I hope not. <laughs> well, I guess... Wait a few more minutes. I don't know if anybody, whether or not it's not coming up or. <laughs> so. Oh, look at that. I have four whole people. Hi, guys. Anybody? <laughs> How are we doing today? Hey, I don't know if I can I share my own video. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Oh, there's my sister. Hi, Nora. Anybody else? <laughs> Let's see. Let me try to go on. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there we go. Here's some friends. There we go. Hi, oh my vintage and Carolina lady. And just trying to see see if I'm live or not. And I just see, sorry, it's hard to <laughs> type and um, talk at the same time. Trying to see if some people. That's on. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Well, that's okay. I'm glad you came to watch anyways. That's awesome. And so, I, Lynn, and all oh, my vintage, and Carolina lady, and Nora. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for stopping by on a Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday here in New York. So, um, it's a little chilly, but, you know. Typical fall weather, it's beautiful. And, oh, oh, hang on, sorry about that, guys. I gotta go out of screen for a second. I found my pen. <laughs> okay, well, I'll give it a few more minutes. I know, I know today is a very popular day for live sales. So I know um, that uh, the pink, pink elephant parlor is having one now. And, uh, sorry about that, I was trying to adjust the camera and I know that um, uh, Alex from chapter 2 vintage co she had one and there's another one coming up and um, Mimi's treasure cottage she's coming up at 6 Eastern so Sundays become quite a day for live sales right <laughs> Give it a, I'll give it a few more minutes 
see if anybody else wants to pop on. Was going to put it out there. Do you think I should change my time during the day on um, Sunday or should I keep it the way it is? Um, thinking, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I can. <laughs> it's so, so close together. So, oh, let's see. Ah, Stephanie, Thrifting Adventures. Thank you. Uh, I was thinking of, but no, but it's such a, a tight, tight schedule on Sunday. So we'll see. Maybe I'll have a couple pop-up sales coming up. So hopefully you get a chance. I was able to make a haul video yesterday, so that's up. And some of the stuff that was in that haul video yesterday is uh, for sale today. And I'm gonna try. I'm trying really hard to keep uh, doing the haul videos, and I'm gonna also be doing one that's like um, rediscovering or no, reclaiming my reclaimed treasure. You know, go into the back of the, the death pile <laughs> and revisit some stuff that's been hiding away for a little bit. So that'll be coming up too. So why don't we just get started? Um, it looks like a lot of you are um, comers that come every week, but I'll just re, uh, rehash that this is you're going to see the, see the product and the price and the number, and then you're going to see who's the first one that claims it. Um, and then at the end, you will need to send me your information, and it's scrolling at the bottom, reclaimtreasuresbymary at gmail.com. And I need your YouTube name, your real name, your address with zip code, and your PayPal information, and the item numbers if you can. Um, the PayPal information, if it's this, could you like the same or, or different from your um, your regular email. Okay, so uh, we are seven minutes in, so I just want to get going and get started. Uh, I found some really good things. Um, over this past weekend. Hi, Vintage and Vinyl. Katie, thank you, Katie, very much for sending a shout out earlier today. I'm trying to get more out on Instagram. So hopefully the post, we've seen that and um, Facebook and stuff. So hopefully those were getting out. I have a nice selection today. I got some nice um, totally tubular treasures or triple T for my $2 sale. I have one offer up today, and I have two mystery boxes. So, why don't we get started and see what we have. Okay, so some things you may have seen, um, they're coming back from the sale that I did on Tuesday night with Stephanie, um, Thrifting Adventures. That was fun. That was my first collab, and... and um, for selling, and I think hers too. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so and oh, welcome, Laura, Laura from um, th Vintage Thrifty Treasure. Sorry. <laughs> so why don't we get started? All right. I this one is a nice one. I picked this one up at a garage sale. And this is a very beautiful um, heart-shaped trinket dish. It has, like, uh, black and green and pink and, like, the gold detail. Very pretty. It's very hard to read, but it does say hand-painted. And I'm pretty sure it's Nippon. I'm not quite sure. It's very hard to read right here. So... A very cute little trinket dish, and I'm asking. Oh, glad I'm glad you enjoyed that, Katie. That this is five dollars, number forty-seven, number forty-seven for the trinket dish. I'm glad everybody's enjoying it. Uh, pretty good. Um. Good question, uh, all my vintage. No, there are no chips or cracks. Nice and smooth, right around. So very. It has. It is raised. It has a bit of a raised design. If you um, rub your hand over it, 
The design is raised, but there's no cracks or chips. So it's very beautiful. Okay. All right. So that's number 47 for $5. All right. So let's keep going. Um, I do have some adorable little things that you could definitely use for air plants. I saw these over the weekend, this little box I got, and I'm like, oh my goodness, all of these things would be perfect. Oh, no quite, no problem. Um, not really, it's pretty good, decent shape. The, um, the gold looks pretty nice, and the only thing you really can't tell Tell on the back is um, it says you could sort of make out hand painted, um, and I think that says Nippon. I'm pretty sure, but and no, but it's really nice. The, the <laughs> try to show you the different spots there. <laughs> Oh, hi, Blue Flamingo. Welcome. And Sandy, thank you guys for coming. So, we just started, actually. So, this was my first piece. It is a, a trinket dish, a heart-shaped trinket dish. And with the roses and the black and green. And we think it's hand-painted upon. It's kind of hard to see there. And that was 47 for $5. <laughs> so welcome everybody oh thank you Caroline Carolina princess sweet treats and pretties <laughs> thank you guys for coming oh okay so oh my vintage you're gonna take that thank you very much okay all right got my handy dandy notebook here <laughs> oh. Okay, thank you for that. All right, so what I was um, going to show you next was I found this box at a garage sale, and it was filled with all these cute, tiny little things, and I, my first idea was air plants, totally. So this is a cute little wheelbarrow. It's sort of a minty green, and it has um, one little chippy whippy right there, I guess you call it. <laughs> <laughs> it says USA at the bottom, and it's perfect just a little bit for a little tiny air plant right there. And it just sits, you know, on, on wherever you want it to sit, but it's so cute. And there's a little bit of wear on the wheel, so we have this one little spot and then this one over here. But pretty much, it's really good. Okay, so that little beauty is going to be $3 for number 45. So $3, number 45, for this cute little wheelbarrow. Nice for an air plant. All right. So we're just going to keep on rolling here. Okay. Let's see. There we go. I'll do this. This was another cute one. This is another one from that box that could definitely. Oh, good. Yes. The mystery boxes um, that some of you have seen are different on um, different sales. I know Fat Bird Finds has done some, and I think. Um, Laura or Bemos Mercantile did some on um, Trusty Huckster Mercantile's la show last week. So they are definitely a popular item. So I have two. I have a small $10 one and a $15 one. So well, definitely that's it's a good little thing or, and um, kind of fun, you know, find out mystery like Christmas. You don't know what's in the box. <laughs> We have this very pretty basket 
It is yellow and it has the purple and orange flowers. Very beautiful. It's just kind of a plain white on the back. And it's uh, made in Germany. Very nice. Made in Germany. And another one, beautiful for an airplane. It's not, you know, pretty decent on the inside and the cute little handle. So, this little beauty is going to be $6, number 48. $6, number 48. Hi, Mama Jay. Welcome. Awesome. It's great to have everybody coming and checking it out today. Thank you. The doggies are afoot today, all over the feet. <laughs> You walk the wrong way, you're going to trip over a dog at this house. <laughs> Remember, that's the welcoming committee. We have Sheba, Buddy, and Lady. They are the official welcoming committee. Not that everybody enjoys the welcome committee, but what the heck. <laughs> okay. Oops. I know I'm. Still, I know I say it every sale, but I'm trying to still get used to my bifocal. So it's like, what am I looking at? <laughs> oh, hi, Maria. Welcome. So I did show these yesterday in my lap on uh, my um, my haul video yesterday, and they're very pretty. They look to be maybe a uh, white. They almost look like a white poinsettia to me, with the gold on the inside here. And they look handmade. Oh, Izzy, Dory, and Abby. Oh, that's so cute. They look to be hand done. MC there. Those are cute names. And then you have the one that's slightly bigger. And if the third one is really big. And it looks to, to me like it's saying... Atlantic mold? I don't know. It's really hard to see. Really hard to see in the middle. So it's three to have out for Christmas. And the three of those are number 30. So $6 number 30 for the cute dishes. Little trade. Nice for little pieces of candy, maybe at Christmas time. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I would always love is a little piece of candy. Okay, I have blue feather or blue flamingo. Sorry, I get those two mixed up sometimes. And oh, I was like, wait a minute, I thought I was gonna lose my pen again. I need one of those things that. <laughs> Um, attaches to you, you know, one of the lanyard things. All right. Oh, welcome, Victoria H. There we go. Glad you could make it. Okay. Oh, yes. And okay, let's see. Hang on one little second, guys. We Ah, yes. It's sort of a technical difficulty, so hang on one second. <laughs> my technical difficulty is that my battery pack separated from the other, and we do not want that to happen. There we go. Now we're back in business. Okay. Yes, and thank you for the other um, people that have been very nice to help um, put up the information about of all of our live sales. So, yes, it is definitely um, a job to do it, and thank you for everybody that helped uh, put, put it out there. It's always helpful to all of our um, live sale friends. So thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to keep keep going. I found, yes, thank you, Tricia. 
I found this very beautiful um, dish. It's a heart-shaped dish, and it's you know it's a little has a little depth to it. Yes, thank you. Yes, Victoria H. I ship from New York. I live in upstate New York, um, outside of the capital Albany. I live in what's called the Helderberg Mountains. So, yes, New York. Yep. <laughs> so I'm kind of smack in the middle. <laughs> so we have these very beautiful um, dish. It has blues and greens and pinks and yellows all the way around. And then on the inside, it's gorgeous, I think. It has some more flowers. Bye, Laura. Thank you for stopping by. So this one is made. It's handmade in Poland. So that's very nice. Handmade in Poland. Oh, you're in Connecticut? Wow, you're like a hop, just a hop, skip, and a jump from us. So, this beautiful little dish is going to be $8 for number 23. $8 number 23. Oh, yes, Carolina Princess. Um, if you're talking about my, um, yes, it is Polish pottery. Yep, you're right. If, yes, if you were talking about my video from yesterday, yes, we are definitely right in the in the middle of um, the season changing, and it's beautiful. Um, and, and then the days that I think, oh, I'll bring my camera with me and have it in the car. It's rainy and yucky. And then the days I don't, like today on the way home from church, I should have brought <laughs> my camera with me. I would have gotten some nice shots. but. Hopefully, I can get some in the next couple of days. <laughs> awesome, Victoria. That's great. Just definitely our neighbors in the east. Like I have um, Dee from Thrill of the Thrift. She lives up in Niagara Falls. So that's up. You're actually, you know, closer to me than her. But, it, you know, <laughs> we're hoping that someday we can get an east coast um, reseller group together, you know, to hang out. <laughs> But so I think that would be that's great to have friends from different. Um, oh, that's OK, Sandy. Yes. Yeah, it is very beautiful out um, nowadays. At least I hope they'll stick around a little while, maybe another weekend or two. Um, but I think it'll be more up up north, getting closer to where D lives, you know, in the Adirondacks. That'll be have the weather a little more. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll definitely have to talk about that to the everybody else. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we have. Oh, this guy is a cutie. Another little cutie guy. This is another little planter. Yeah, yeah, and we have New Jersey, and I know Delaware, I think, and a couple other places. So we have this adorable little ducky, and it, it would be a cute little planter, just deep enough for a little air plant or something. It has these cute little blue wheels. Hi, Christina, welcome. On both sides, um, the only thing it says is, I think the number 39 here is what it looks like, but no other markings really. So it's so cute. It will be perfect for a little um, air plant or something. And that little cutie, he's going to be $4, number 53. $4, number 53 for this super cute little guy. Okay. All right. Oh, Lynn. Okay, got you for number fifty-three. Awesome. <laughs> fifty-three for Lynn. 
Okay. Awesome. All right. Thank you. I thought that I when I opened that box I was like oh it's so adorable <laughs> all these little things you could put air plants in let's see I'm trying to think there's so many cool things here <sighs> well why don't we do our first triple T and I will explain for our newcomers um, I myself and I know trusty Huckster Mercantile and Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures, they have their two dollar sets. So um I know it's like the Huckster bargain bin and um Stephanie does the two dollar holler. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> so cool. Mine is called the Totally Tubular Treasures, because I'm a child of the eighties, so I thought that would be cool. And then we was like, well that's too long. So we brought it down to triple T. Triple T, and that means it's a two dollar sale. Part of my two dollar sale. And I thought this was the cutest little bird. Just a little yellow bird. <laughs> and I'm not sure if he was just hanging out by himself or he was supposed to go on something. I don't know. So that's why I was like, oh, I think $2 would be good because I don't know if he's part of something else. But he's just a little statue, a little birdie. So he's going to be $2 for number 55. $2 number 55. Let's see. I was trying to read what you said. We don't have any Oh, yes. The lightning bugs were kind of cool. Yeah, it could. Yeah. I don't, that I'm not sure. Let me check. Um, cause here's another one that I have. Um, well, yeah, I guess it could. Not sure if that's what it's made for, but <laughs> it could definitely be a, a sitter there. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we had a little competition for that one. All right. I see Lynn. Nope, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, nope, Judy was first. Okay, I had to look up a little farther. So, Judy, Judy, you get the cute little birdie. Okay. Now the birdie doesn't want to stand up. <laughs> All right, I had to go. All right. Okay, where'd he go? My goodness. All right. Now I am just, I'm mixing myself up. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I was looking at the tag and then I'm like, no, you don't match. <laughs> I guess all the preparation in the world that doesn't. Doesn't help so much, right? <laughs> okay. And um, just a question for some of my East Coast friends. Um, I don't know about you guys, but did you, here in New York, we had a horrible storm um, Wednesday, Thursday night-ish, and we lost power, and all, all sorts of stuff happened. I don't know if any of the other eastern states had that happen. I don't know. But it was definitely crazy around here. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> okay, so I have this beautiful plate I picked up. This one was in my um, haul video yesterday. It is a poinsettia. I don't know what's up with my where I'm standing or sitting there. There we go. It's a poinsettia and the, the greenery and the uh, pine cones. And it says it's Dario Bart for Rushi <laughs> designs. And it is modern, dishwasher safe, made in China. But I just thought it was so beautiful for. Um, 
for the holidays. Oh, yes, yes. Over here in New York, we had, oof, it was horrible. And it came in so fast and, like, knocked out half of the power in the Capital District area. Yeah, it was crazy. That beautiful dish is $5 for number 32. $5, number 32. Hi, Nate. Welcome. And that was for this beautiful dish. Okay. Move things around here a little bit. It was great to have you come along. All right. This next item. This was also in my haul yesterday, and I'm trying to be very careful opening the, because it's just the bottom of the box, and they put, oh, 32. Where's my pen? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I know, I swear, I am. I'm going to have to get one of those lanyard things and just, right there. <laughs> okay, so I saw Cheryl wants number 32. Mm -hmm. I just saw it, and then it just disappeared on me. There it is. Okay. And that's why I have it on my computer and my phone. <laughs> okay. All right. Whoops. I don't want to do that. Goodness. I know masking tape is a seller's worst nightmare, right? <laughs> so this is a nice little set of um, knives, like it looks butter knives and a serrated knife, and I'm not quite sure what the other ones are for, but they do. They have that cornflower blue um, design on it. Oops, upside down. <laughs> so those are nice, and it's the bottom of the box. Um, it did not have a top with it but it did have the the infamous masking tape <laughs> oh yes yes you're right katie we could see we need our cheese knives we definitely need our cheese knives <laughs> to go with our our cheese and crackers and air plants <laughs> they are pretty i love them and i love that pattern too so, for the set, they are $10, number 26. $10, number 26 for the cornflower blue knife set for your cheese. <laughs> All right. I don't mind it being cold. Just a nice fall breeze. I like that, but that, I'm just weird like that, so. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have next. Oh, here's a cute little one. All right, here we have a nice tin. Whoa, almost, almost became 3D there. I almost lost it and hit the camera. <laughs> so this is a cute little um, cardinal. Looks like it's in a house. It's like a birdhouse, and it's, you know, just nice on all sides, plain on the back. And it's nice in the, in the yeah, because I definitely am not a fan of the cold, cold, but I like it nice. So, oh, very beautiful little tin you could use and hide the... Whatever you want in there, <laughs> set it up for the holidays. All right. And that little tin is $3 for number 20. $3 number 20. Okay. All right. So we'll keep, keep on a going. Oh, not so big in the... Yep. Oh, Victoria H for number 20. Thank you. Okay. 
All right, I have got Victoria H for number 20. And if you see scrolling across the bottom, you'll see um, how to get a hold of me. Um, you would email me at Reclaim Treasures by Mary at Gmail. And I would need your YouTube name, your real name, your address with zip code, your PayPal information, and the items if you remember. If not, it's okay. I'm writing them down. And then as I, uh, we said before, I'm shipping from New York. And I try to find the best shipping um, for everybody. And if most people who have bought from me before know <laughs> that I have definitely been um, generous with the bubble wrap because I want to make sure it gets to where it's going. <laughs> so, let's see. Well, I want to save that one for a little bit because that's not, that one's a little naughty, but not too bad. <laughs> so. I'll leave you in suspense, my little sort of naughty item. <laughs> so if you saw if you saw my video yesterday, you might know my little my little naughty item, but but not really. <laughs> so my next item is going to be something that I did have before, and it is a pair of the opera glasses, or um, I don't know why I wanted to call them spy glasses, so. But opera glasses. They say coated lens made in Japan. Hi, Grace. Welcome. And they're really nice and they're collapsible. You know, so if you go to opera or <laughs> bird watching or just whatever, those are really cute. And uh, hi, Bev. Welcome. They are $5. $5 for number 16. Five dollars, number sixteen, for the very nice uh, spyglass. I want to keep calling them spyglasses. I know they're not, but or maybe they are. <laughs> okay, thank you. I saw. Let me see. Blue flamingo mercantile. Got you for number sixteen. All right. Okay, welcome guys. And if there was I if there's time at the end, I'll try to go back through again, but I know up oh, there she is. Me uh Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. I know that she's coming on at 6, so I will keep on a going and only if we have time I'll go back, but if there's something that you do see and I don't have time to go back, please send me a message. We can definitely work something out. Okay. Do you guys want to see the naughty one or you want to wait a little bit? Okay, okay. I'll definitely, it's sort of, not in a bad way, but um, <laughs> it's kind of, I'm going to at least sort of censor the one thing. It's kind of more sort of naughty but cute in the same respect. <laughs> Try to come, and the poor doggy, one doggy wants to come out and of the, the bedroom. And I, that's why you might hear a, the doggy whining. <laughs> So it says, no, you can't touch it. You already broke yours off. <laughs> and then I, I'll show you real quick so everybody keep take a look. Ready? Oh, so the little tushies. So I'm almost certain it's an ashtray, but hey, it could be any kind of dish. You can hang it on the wall. <laughs> it is a Holland mold. But I just thought that was so funny when I found it. <laughs> you already broke yours off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that's going to be $10 for number 21. So $10, number 21 for the, <laughs> the 
conversation piece, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Judy. I, she was right there, right on the ball. Okay. All right. Good. Good for the win there, Judy. Congratulations. Yes, that would. <laughs> well, I think. <laughs> yes, I think he's. I think he's ask, telling the girl. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking. I don't know. <laughs> oh, awesome. That's cool. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the boy was saying that to the girl. <laughs> When I saw that, I was like, oh, I have to have that. That is too funny. <laughs> so, oh, my goodness. I don't know. How do I top that one? Oh, let's see. Well, I don't. <laughs> well, here, I have a little, a little joke, I guess you could say. Here's another set of the opera glasses. And I guess, you know, where my mind, <laughs> you know, so our little boy and girl couple from there, you know, well, we could get these to take a look and try to find it. <laughs> mm. I'm so bad. These are brown. They say dove on there. And they are the same kind of uh, opera spy glasses, but they come in a box and it says Wellsville, New York, the big M. And Leonard B. Jones. So I don't know if that's who owned them, but they come in their own little case. So, so cute. So maybe the little girl can look for hers. <laughs> I know, I'm so bad. <sighs> so this one is going to be $6 for number 15. $6 number 15. Hi, Missy. Welcome. Okay, so. Number 15 for $6. Okay, Katie. I got right there. Katie, vintage and vinyl. Thank you. Yes. And <laughs> that was actually maybe a pretty good um, follow-up to that other dish. I wasn't sure if I could do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yes. Well, Misty, I'll I'll show you the thing that you missed earlier. <laughs> Somebody picked it up already, but it says, "No, you can't touch it. You already broke yours off." And then like, Woo! <laughs> so thought that was hilarious when I got it. And then I was wasn't sure if I could top that, so I was like, "Oh, with well, the." Opera spy glasses, we can maybe she can find it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. All right. Oh, here we go. I'm on a roll. I am on a roll. So <laughs> we had our boy and girl trying to figure things out there, and then they got married. There we go. <laughs> oh. So now here's our we have a vintage wedding. Um, picture very cute. Um, um thank you. Sorry, very nice. <laughs> and it comes in. Oh, hello, Wendy. Welcome. It comes in a nice folding um envelope. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know what that is. It says the Trumbull Studios in um Schenectady, New York. So that's near me, um, just outside of the Albany area. Uh, we also, oh, it's part of like what we call the capital district around here. And it has a nice little um, A-frame type tent thing. So very pretty if you wanted to just display it or um, the picture does come out um, and there is no identifying features there. So. But a very nice vintage photo, and even the what it's in is beautiful too. You can see the corners here, nice edging and everything. So.
So that is going to be um, just one moment. Sorry about that. Doesn't I don't know if the people that use those um, corners on stuff they aren't exactly easy to get back in. <laughs> so that beauty is going to be four dollars for number eleven. Four dollars, number eleven, for the nice vintage wedding picture. Okay. So let's moving stuff down a little bit to get closer. All right, I have this interesting little um, product here. I, well, item, not product. <laughs> and it's just one uh, napkin holder. And I thought it was kind of interesting and weird. Um, and it is made in Japan. And I just thought because, you know, it's orange outfit and it's just weird. Maybe you could have it for Halloween. Like you could put something in there. Or, you know, it's like, why do we have a armless guy in an orange suit? <laughs> So, and it is made in Japan. I thought it would be kind of a neat little something for Halloween. And he does look kind of like, oh my goodness, where'd my arms go? <laughs> so, that's going to be $3 for number 50. $3 number 50. Yes, yep. It is a napkin ring holder, So, but there was only one. So, I thought it would be kind of... Kind of neat for um, maybe for Halloween or something, you know, because it's just just strange enough. Oh, let's see. Okay. Whoa, that was a popular one. All right. Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. You got that one first. Okay. All righty. Let's see. Number 50. Yep, it was kind of neat. I found them in a, um, was a big, was a box. And of a whole bunch of little cute things. All right. All right. Congratulations, Cindy. And don't forget, Cindy's on after me at 6 o'clock Eastern. And I know she has a lot of wonderful items, too. All right. Here we go with something else that we could definitely use as an air plant. And actually, two air plants because they are so cute. They are just these little tiny pair of Dutch shoes. No real distinctive marks, you know, nothing. It doesn't have um, really anything at the bottom except maybe a number. And it does have crazing, so kind of, but it could be so cute for two little air plants. And I was thought they were just perfect for that. Okay. That's going to be three dollars. Three dollars for number forty-six. Okay, well, that's what came up on uh, Victoria H. Great. Uh Judy, yep, that's what came up on my end. Let me I can go back up and check, but let me see. No, I do have Mimi's or Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage was first. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, Cindy, that was um nice of you. All right, I will send that to Judy. That's very nice of you. Okay, thank you, Cindy. And snick, snick, bleh, snick, snickerdoodles. Can somebody make some snickerdoodles? <laughs> Sneaking in there between that um, was the Dutch shoes, 
went to Victoria H. So didn't want didn't want that to get lost in the shuffle. All right. Oh, that's awesome. It's great that getting um the young the younger generation into the collecting. Because I know that a lot of times they're they're definitely not interested in that. So Yep. Yes, yeah, something small to start out with. Yes, definitely. Oh, what is a snickerdoodle? Oh, it's probably one of the best cookies out there. It's sort of like a cinnamon and a sugar cookie with cinnamon all through it. Oh, it's delicious. And it's awesome just coming out of the oven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right up there with chocolate chip cookies, but snickerdoodles, yes, are an awesome. Just awesome. It's so awesome I don't have words. <laughs> so and yes, yes, a snickerdoodle is a, a awesome cookie, yes. <laughs> I would love to send some snickerdoodles, but I don't know if they'd make it all the way to New Zealand. <laughs> so we will do a triple T. A two dollar triple T. Because it just was perfect for a fancy dish for your snickerdoodle cookie. It would be perfect for one little snickerdoodle. It is a Syracuse China, made in the USA. But it, it's got the, um, the swirly pattern and the gold, but it would be perfect. Perfect for one little snickerdoodle cookie. <laughs> So that's two dollars for number fifty-six. Yeah, it's kind of a cool. It's kind of a weird word to say. Yes. So number fifty-six for two dollars. The little. It's probably a butter pat or something. Okay, Victoria H. There we go. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. Okay. So, Cindy, um, T, tr the three T's, they stand for triple T. That's my $2 version of the, the $2 sale. So, um, Stephanie has her $2 holler. And I know Patrick from Trusty Huckster Mercantile, he has his, um, the Huckster bin, I think. So, <laughs> now you want cookies. We'll have to make cookies. <laughs> um, so that's my $2 sale. It stands for Totally Tubular Treasures because I'm a child of the 80s. So Totally Tubular, totally tubular Treasures. That's a lot to say. So we narrowed it down to Triple T. <laughs> okay. So that was uh, 56 and Victoria H. got that one. Perfect for her little cookies. <laughs> yes, I love Oreos. And they had some here in New York that were Oreos that were like super stuffed. And you got like four of them in a package. And what I would do is I would take two of them and squish them together. You know, and make this humongous Oreo cookie. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Welcome. Yeah, I know. Now we're going to be wanting to make cookies. Well, it's getting to be that season, right? <laughs> So, what, here we, oh, we're just doing great, just, you know, sliding right into the next item. So, what better thing to have with a cookie would be either your coffee or your hot chocolate or a hot toddy maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Something to warm you up on those days when it's cold. And this, actually, this pattern here on these mugs is called the cinnamon pattern. So as a set of two, it has the brown ombre effect here. Oh, sausage for lunch. That would be good. Okay. And um, these are Syracuse China. So you get two. They are nice mugs, nice and heavy. 
So there's two of them. So you can have coffee or hot chocolate with a friend and enjoy your cookies. <laughs> And there are no cracks or chips. It's a really good condition for, for mugs. And the two of those together are going to be, I know, sorry about this. My pen did something funny. $9, number 25. $9, number 25 for the mugs. <laughs> and I actually saw a really cool thing. Um, I don't know who else. I... I have a serious problem with TikTok. <laughs> I think I need to go to um, TikTokers Anonymous. <laughs> but um, they had this thing where you would make um, this mold, and it was a, a circular or a half circle mold, and you do the, the, the mold with the chocolate, like you'd paint it on, and then you'd fill it with marshmallows and uh, hot chocolate mix and then you you know you'd make the two halves and put them together and get a little chocolate to um, close up the sphere and then you would take it and you would put it so it's like a little ball almost like a cake pop ball and you'd put it in the mug and pour the hot milk over it or, or whatever and it just went bloop, bloop. oh it looks so cool I want to try it <laughs> but okay so I get a little off track there, so nine dollars number twenty five for the two mugs. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure and there goes that pen again. I do, I will. You'll see me next week. I'll have I have enough lanyards from work. <laughs> so hang on, I'll be back in a second. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Here I am. Okay. All right, so I need to step up my game and keep on a moving. All right, we got a lot to get through. <laughs> All righty, so we have our cute little dear friend. This one, I'm sorry, I don't know how to segue. Oh, wait, yes, I do. Hold on. I found my segue into the next thing. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep it up, but if those... Other cups weren't your fancy. We have these cups. These were from before, um, last time. They are enamel cups. They are made in Sweden. So this nice big cup that you could have your hot chocolate and, and cookies with is going to be $4 for number 10. $4 number 10 for the large um, enamel mug and I'm gonna go up oh, blue flamingo mercantile there we go number 10 I've heard of deep fried butter I have not experienced deep fried butter but I have heard of it now here at the fairs the country fairs here in New York and maybe all of their places you can get deep fried Oreos I've had those. Those are delicious. Okay. Now, number 10 is Blue Flamingo Market. All right. Thank you. All right. So, I'm just going to show the next ones because they're right here. I have the, the friends to it. If you have little ones that want some hot chocolate, too, I have two matching little cups. This one here, nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> this one does have some um, markings or I'm not sure if it would be patina or <laughs> but it has the rough spots. So this one I'm not sure you'd want to drink out of but this one, they're both made in Sweden like the other one. These two little cuties are going to be Five dollars for the both of them. Number nine. So five dollars, number nine. Yes, America, we are we're definitely good for deep frying anything. So you can get deep fried snicker bars. So blue feather mercantile for number nine. Awesome. Did I say it again? I am so sorry. <laughs> blue flamingo. 
Blue Flamingo Mercantile. Sorry about that. I keep doing that. <laughs> Okay, so yes, Blue Flamingo Mercantile got the other cups too. <laughs> well, that would be interesting. Deep fried sweet tea. That would definitely be interesting. All right, so let's see. Um, hmm. <laughs> what could we do? I don't know. Ah, yes, here we go. All right, the next little segue we would need a uh, deep fried sweet, uh, Swiss cheese. I've never had that, but hi, Empty Nest, Nesting 2. Okay, so I'm trying to do this. I don't know how much longer I can do this to segue into the other product. But when you have all these fried treats, you may need a toothpick to get the leftovers out. So I have this cute little toothpick holder. It's a brown cow. And if you see right here, it says Switzerland. And behind it, I think because this cow is painted, so I think the paint um, spots are covering that. But he's such cute, and he um, doesn't have any markings. There's his little cow butt, and it could you could have it as a planter, but you could also have it for toothpicks. Oops. So that's cute little cow. And he's going to be five dollars, number thirty-four. Five dollars, number thirty-four. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to go there. I don't know. <laughs> All righty. Let's see. Well, I'm just going to go. <laughs> with the other ones because they're cows too. <sighs> so these are salt and pepper salt, salt and pepper shakers. They're so cute little cows there, and they say Zurich on them, right there. And they have the the stoppers there, the rubber stoppers. <laughs> they're so cute with their little painted faces and. So cute. I'm not sure what that means here. So I just left it there. Um, I don't know if it's salt and pepper, but the sticker was there, so I left it. So this cute little pair of salt and pepper shakers are oops, get back here. Are eight dollars for number thirty-three. Eight dollars number thirty-three for the cute little cows. <laughs> All right. Okay. So keep going. I'm going to do a few more. Then we'll be sort of to the halfway mark. And then we can do the. I have exactly one offer up. So. Okay. okay. And being a salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> I have these three salt cellars. They are a circular design with like a diamond pattern or flower pattern. And those three are going to be $4, number 12. $4, number 12 for the, um, <clears throat> the salt cellars. Okay. And I have still in the salt and pepper department. <laughs> I have this cute little I know, I've seen them a lot too. The cows and the um the bulls and everything, it must be, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> but I've seen a lot myself, yes. Okay, so we have this cute little family, Japanese family here. We have the mom and the dad. These are salt and pepper shakers. <clears throat> so we have the dad and the mom there with their little Japanese outfits. And they are the uh, cork. 
stoppers. Okay. That's Mama and the Daddy. And then, of course, these guys just come along for the ride. And this is the little girl and boy. And they're just statues. They don't have any holes for... I'm not sure what you do, you know. <laughs> uh, so, those are cute. Now, I don't know if you, kids growing up, we had um, Blue's Clues show. And then we have, you know, Salt and Pepper was... And then they had a baby paprika. And then I don't know what the other one, cinnamon or something. So, <laughs> oops, she's upside down. <laughs> they had salt and pepper, or paprika. No, not really. Just kidding. Oh. So, that set, family set, $6, number 18. $6, number 18 for the little salt and pepper shaker family. All right, nutmeg. That's what it was. Yes, paprika, 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 and nutmeg. And I did it again. Oh, I swear. <laughs> okay, so I see Judy for number eighteen. Thank you for that. Hi, Maria, California thrifter. Welcome. Where'd you go? There we go. Okay. So, Judy. Yes. All right. So, welcome, everybody. Hope we're having a good time. Just trying to connect all these different things. I'm not sure how much longer I can um, hold out, but. All right, let's see about this guy. <clears throat> How can we tie him out? Tag, well, we can tie him in, but we have to back up a little bit to the um, the knives for the cheese. So cheese slicing. And who better than to have a slice of cheese is a cute little mouse. I think it's a mouse. <laughs> this is made in Uruguay. I hope I said that right. But what's kind of cool is what's on him, the way he's designed. He's textured, textured. He looks like he, it looks like rice, and then I'm not sure what this is. Like, I really can't tell. Some sort of seed. So he's a big teeth and that nose. So cute. So he is $4. $4 for number 13. $4, number 13. Bye, Katie. Thank you for coming. $4, number 13 for the cute little mouse. Okay, Victoria H. There you go. Thank you. All right. The, the cute, even the, the smalls are cute, aren't they? And they're a lot of so fun. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so going from cute little mice, we're going to go to a cute little deer. He's so adorable. Cute little, oh, he's facing the wrong way. So cute little deer, and he has these little um, two flowers and a bell. Face, I'm so cute. <laughs> and it is made in Japan on his little paw there. Cute little white tail. So cute. Okay, so this little guy or gal, whichever you want, <laughs> is four dollars. <coughs> Sorry, four dollars number fifty-two. Four dollars number fifty-two for the cute little deer has little spots on the back. Okay, let's see. I see Victoria H. She just snuck right in there. <laughs> okay, so number 52 for Victoria H. Okay. 
All right. Well, that one was very popular. So we will move right to the to his little neighbor. This is the little lamb. And how funny is it that Mary, Mary had a little lamb? Mary had a little lamb and she was willing to let him go to another home because he's so cute. Or maybe it's a girl because look at those eyelashes. So pretty. <laughs> has that same design with the flowers and the bell. The lamb has like these little gold specks on it. And this one's surprised. Probably not sure what he heard, but. <laughs> And he's also made in Japan. Oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can get the poor little guy to look the right direction. Okay, so he or she's going to be $4 as well. $4, number 51. Okay, Victoria H., you have the fast fingers today. Fast fingers. Oh, there we go. Fast fingers, Victoria. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Okay. I was actually going to say that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was going to write that down. Oh, oh silly. <laughs> okay. All right. So since we are loving the critters, I have a slightly larger critter. Now, this is a, um, I think it's called, Ros it's a vintage Rosalene, Rosalene. <laughs> statue pottery and it is made in the USA I probably butchered that name I don't know but it's a beautiful I think it's a fox I'm pretty sure it's a fox but those are little sparkly orange eyes so you could definitely use that maybe for Halloween or um or the fall so well this little guy I know those sparkly eyes are mesmerizing you. Or a raccoon. That's true, too. Could be a raccoon. But, so, it could be either your raccoon friend or your fox friend, whichever you'd like. <laughs> and those are vintage. I'm pretty sure they're from the 70s. When I, when I looked them up, that's what I found. And that little friend, he's going to be $10 for number 27. Ten dollars, number twenty-seven for our raccoon fox guy. Ooh, you want to take me home? Oh, <laughs> I guess I guess the hypnosis worked on Judy. <laughs> and then of course, oh my goodness. Okay, now if my sister's still on and still watching, I got Judy. Judy for the win there. If my sister is still watching, next weekend, next Sunday is my birthday. And I'm going to tell her I need a pen on a lanyard. <laughs> so I seriously have now lost. Oh, there it is. I have seriously lost it. Now I found it again. <laughs> so I have Judy for number 27. Twenty-seven for Judy. Yes, thank you. Next Sunday is my birthday, so my sister, I'd like to uh, put you, <laughs> put you on the spot. I need a lanyard for my um, my pen. I keep losing it all the time. Oh, awesome, Cindy. Um, the next next Tuesday, the nineteenth. That's awesome. My, that's actually um. My grandfather's birthday is the 19th, so that's awesome. Thank you very much for the happy, and I am going to do a sale next week, too, because, hey, I enjoy the sales, so why not have a sale on my birthday? <laughs> so, okay, so we did the raccoons. Um, 
I, I honestly don't know. I will just going to keep going because I'm running out of time. <laughs> I don't want to, um, I don't want to step on the toes of the other sellers. So, here we go. Okay. I'm just moving some stuff up closer. Right. I think what I'll do is like three more things. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Awesome. So, everybody, happy birthday from in October. All right. So let me do. Let's see. I'll do four more things, and then four more things, and then we can do the offer up. So, okay. <clears throat> oh, our third member of our welcome committee is home. Yes. Woohoo! Libra's in the house. <laughs> so we have this adorable little bell. Yep, calling all the Libras. <laughs> and it's like a little coffee grinder. I thought it was so cute. Very tiny. And it does have the little thing inside. And it still has the sticker. And I'm not, it looks like it was a dollar. But I'm not sure. So I just left the sticker in there. Cute little coffee grinder. That's going to be a triple T. Two dollars, number fifty-four. Two dollars, number fifty-four for the adorable little bell. Oh, Victoria H, you you have the fast fingers today. Victoria H for number fifty-four. Okay, so we're going to keep moving along. Coffee grinder. Oh. <clears throat> I think we may have <laughs> reached our segue limit for a little while, only because I want to get through the other stuff, and I don't want to cut into the next person's sale. So this is a very pretty dish. I'm thinking it's cherry blossoms. It's what it looks like to me. Um, I'm pretty sure that's recalled. Is this reticulated? I could, I thought I knew the name, but no markings on the back to say who it's made by. But it's very pretty. has that gold speckle on it. Oh, no. Jury duty. Oh, that would be horrible. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for, thank you, um, Cindy. I hope we'll definitely be uh, coming, coming on over at 6 o'clock. So that's plate, or that's plate, oh my goodness. This plate's going to be $4, number 31. Hi, Chicago lady, number 31. Oh, Libras, um, Maria, that's our, um, it's a zodiac sign. Libras are a zodiac sign. Four dollars, number thirty-one for the plate. Okay. All right. So two more things, and then we will do the offer up. Okay. Here is an adorable little. Um, yes. No. Hi, dark. No. Right. Don't cut into the next person's sale. <laughs> Cindy. From Mimi's Treasure Cottage. That's who's coming up next. And these are cute little, um, no, I know, but I love coming to your sale too. That's why I want to <laughs> be done. <laughs> One of the reasons, but, but I would definitely stay and hang out. Um, so this is a cute little, I think it looks like a tulip. Purple flower with the cute little butterfly on the top. And it has, yes. So we'll see you in a little while, Cindy. It has the cork um, stoppers. Cute little set. Okay, and that cute little set is, oh, right in front of me. <laughs> $4, number 49. $4, number 49 for the cute little salt and pepper shaker flowers with the butterfly. Okay. All right, Cheryl. Thank you. So number 49. 
All right, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more. Oops, hello. One more, and then I'll do my offer up, <clears throat> and I'll explain an offer up in just a minute. So I found these super cute little um, wooden, all wooden Christmas ornaments. Um, they look they look like they're hand painted. I just no markings. Doesn't say who made them or anything. This is a cute little um, old fashioned. Um, candlestick and then this one is a a bell a wooden bell and it does have the stopper um has like these little designs on the on the front there very cute no markings to say who made them but they do look vintage and those are going to be four dollars for both number 43 so four dollars number 43 the cute little ornaments. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do my first offer up. Well, my only offer up <laughs> for this time. <laughs> um, this was in my uh, yeah my haul video yesterday. It was the my thumbnail picture. <laughs> so I thought it was so cute, so funny. I just the way I looked at them. This is actually a decanter. Okay, and he is. And you know, for a beverage, and his head is actually the shot glass. So I thought this was quite interesting. He's an eagle. It said he's made in Taiwan. So, and he's glass. So. He's going to be our first offer up. He's going to start off at $10. What an offer up is, is that we're going to set the timer for one minute. And when we type in, when I type in start, you're going to bid starting with $10 and go from there. And then when I type in stop, the person just before that who is bid um, <clears throat> will be the winner. So, all right. So, here we go. All right, so we're going to start right now. Ready? Start. All right, so we have a $10 starting out for our friend who is a decanter, and his head is the, um, his head is the shot glass. Oh. Anybody interested in our little friend here? Ten dollars. Be kind of neat for like your Fourth of July celebration. Let's see how we doing. Got fifteen seconds left, so ten dollars for our eagle friend. And he's pretty light because, you know, because he's empty. Five seconds. Okay. All righty. So, okay. Okay. Well, that's okay. Maybe he'd be more popular another time. <laughs> so, let's go back and see what we have. All right. Yes. You're right, Maria. Yes, it's a, a sign or a, a zodiac sign we call them. Okay. Well, we shall leave him there. We'll do a couple more, and then we will do our first mystery box.
All right, so we have these cute little uh, salt and pepper shakers. They are um, bells, little wooden bells. And they are, say, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So super cute. And those are $5 for the pair and number 17. So $5 for the salt and pepper shakers that are bells. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to keep, I'm just going to keep going so, because I'm um, hitting the 530 mark and I don't want to um, interrupt the other one. So <clears throat> this is a beautiful va vase, vase, whatever you'd like to call it, <laughs> from Japan. It has the gold accents, butterflies and flowers, and it's black. Um, the gold around the rim here, nice vase, and it is made in Japan. Okay. And that would be perfect for, you know, regular plants or a nice big air plant. <laughs> so very beautiful designs. I don't know if you saw that well. Okay. That's going to be $7 for number 22. $7 number 22 for the very beautiful um, black vase. Okay. All right. All right. So, I'm going to do four more things and then I'll do my first mystery box. Okay. <laughs> oh, blue flamingo. Flamingo. Oh, I got it right. Blue Flamingo Mercantile, number 22. Thank you. Okay. All righty. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going into another vet vase, ball, whatever you'd like to call it. <laughs> this is very cute. It's a precious moment. It has a little girl and a deer on the front there and it says to my dear and special friend so precious moments 1985 I don't know if you can see that there 1985 precious moments vase nice tall vase you could have you know some nice air plants or regular plants or just a nice flower or a nice gift for your friend five dollars number 14 Five dollars, number fourteen. Okay. Now, if you want to have talking about friends, I'm sort of coming back around, having some friends when you'd like a smaller cup of coffee or espresso you can have it in these cute little mugs there is real no um really no markings on the bottom it doesn't say who's made them but they do look like lusterware and they almost look like um like a sponge paint or a, a just a paint the way it's done on there is so cool So I, I can't I can't tell if they're modern or not, um, but they're so I love the the tech the it's not texture but the design on it. Okay, so those cups are six dollars for number twenty eight. Six dollars number twenty eight. Okay, I'll try to sit still. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think? I'll try to sit still. There we go. Sometimes I just like to throw a little hello in there just to make sure the feed's going. 
Okay, two more, and then we will do a mystery box. This will be a triple T. Two, a totally tubular treasures for two dollars. It is these cute, adorable little salt and pepper shakers. They are white with a little pink flower. They do not, neither of them have a stopper. So they could just be designs, or you could probably find a stopper. But I just thought they were cute. Little white with a red or pink flower. Those are $2 for number eight. $2, totally tubular treasures, number eight. But being a child of the 80s, does anybody does anybody still do the Bueller? Anybody Bueller? <laughs> I'm I'm always doing that. Like I did that yesterday. Trying to find somebody outside. Bueller. Anybody? <laughs> oh good. So I have this cute, adorable little this is a bigger planter, so you could fit a whole array of plants in there. It's a nice pink. It's just standalone. It didn't come with anything. It has a nice design on the top and on the wheels. No distinctive marks on the bottom. And but it's beautiful planter, and it just sits nice, you know, in a display. So three dollars, three dollars for number fifty-seven. Yay for 80s. <laughs> Three dollars number 57 for the cute little wagon planter. <clears throat> okay, here we go. We are going to start with our first mystery box. Mystery box. <laughs> So we have our first mix mystery. Yes, mystery box. It's gonna be a small one, not too big. Oops, my address there. Okay, so we'll see what fun things will come in here in our mystery box, which is going to be this one is gonna be ten dollars, ten dollars for number fifty nine. For my first mystery box. Mystery, mystery. <laughs> I didn't want to draw on the box, so I printed out the question mark, and then I didn't realize that, wow, that was huge. <laughs> okay. Oh, Misty. Sneaking in there. Number 59. Misty. At Drifter Junker Vintage Hunter. Oh, just a little faster than. Um, sorry, trying to write again. <laughs> sorry, Cheryl, just a little fat, a little too. <sighs> sorry, that was rude. Misty was a little faster with the f typing. But if you wait a little while longer, I do have one more that's going to be a $15 box. Yes, they are so much fun. It's like Christmas. Okay. So, uh, we have to move out of frame for a second to pull some stuff in. And then we will. Sorry about that. Oh. I have to get longer arms, guys. My arms are not as long as the table. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Whew. Okay. Thank you, Victoria, for coming. All right. Thank you for coming back, Stephanie. Okay. So 
Whew, we can do this. 35 minutes to get through the rest. Okay. All right. So I know we're coming up on the um <clears throat> the holidays, but I guess I'm the strange one and I'm going backwards. Only in spirit, not in the actual year. Oh, no. 20, we need to go forward. 2020 needs to be done. <laughs> but um, Saint, I have a cute little St. Patrick's Day lot here. Oh, great. I'm glad you have the banner. The uh, Lynn got the boo banner and glad that it's hanging up. That's awesome. For Halloween. And I'm going back to St. Patrick's Day. Why not? <laughs> so St. Patrick's Day we have. This cute little um, lad and lassie bear with a little birds hanging out here, too. It says, Cherish Teddies, may the road rise up to meet you from 2003. And yes, this is a very popular Irish saying. Uh, may, the rose ride, may the road rise up to meet you. And I'm correct me if I'm wrong, my sister might. Um, may the road rise up to meet you, and may you be in bed or heaven before the devil knows you're dead, I think. Or be in heaven before the devil knows you're dead. I don't know. My mom or my sister will correct me on that one. <laughs> but, and it says, oh, it says the same thing right there on the little tag there. Okay. And, well, I guess the little guys are going to the pub. For a, a pint of Guinness and it's a little candle holder so a square candle holder no markings to say where it's from but and then a cute little mouse looking very nice with his um, little hat leprechaun hat and this one doesn't have any markings either um, and he's got his um, all ready for St. Patrick's Day and then there was just a couple things in there. Um, this looks like it's a um, one of those plastic canvas shamrocks made into a pin. And then some, um, well, they're not gold coins, they're green coins. And they say, oh, excuse me, four leaf clover for good luck. So you get those items here for St. Patrick's Day, $3.00. Number one, three dollars. Number one for the St. Patrick's Day lot. Okay. All right. <clears throat> cool. Not, are we not so big on decorating for Halloween, but we're definitely, we love decorating for Christmas. And these particular items that I have next would be awesome for St. Patrick's Day or Christmas. They are these beautiful shallow, sort of shallow dishes with these nice designs of flowers. And they are actually Avon. Which I thought was neat, so I'm not quite sure what they use it for, but I, a deep something. But you could also turn it over and put like a candle here, I think. <laughs> so this one is going to be four dollars for number forty-two. Four dollars number forty-two for the um, little glass dish from Ava. Oh, it could be an extra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true, too. I Well, you think Avon selling ashtrays? Oh, my goodness. But it was different times back then, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to keep going so I don't <laughs> lose everybody. All right. So, the next item I have is a blue depression glass dish and it's pink um it's very nice um no 
Okay. Yeah, it could be either one, you know. Um, flip it this way for your ashtray and then <laughs> maybe if you don't want anybody know you're having a smoke, <laughs> have your ashtray, get rid of the ashes, and then light the candle. <laughs> And then you need um, a container for your snacks, right? So, beautiful pink depression glass, no chips or cracks or anything. That's going to be $6, number 19. Okay. All right. So, if anybody enjoyed our little Japanese family, I have another set of our Japanese mom and dad salt and pepper shakers with the cork. And then, of course, we can't leave home without the kids. Okay, then I will. Don't give said hi. Okay, so that's this, uh, this is my second set. They're going to be six dollars for number six. Six dollars, number six, for the second set of salt and pepper shakers. All right, try to say that three times fast. What do you think? <laughs> okay, blue flamingo mercantile. Thank you. All right. So since we're doing, well, <clears throat> we had the discussion on the <laughs> ashtray candle holder. I have another one. This is all the same exact thing. So it has the green design. It's very pretty flowers. So you could pick whatever you want, an ashtray, a drink holder, flip it over for a candle holder. Or if you'd like both of them. One could be your ashtray, the other one can be for your candle. <laughs> Whatever you like. <clears throat> that's four dollars, and that's number forty-one. So number forty-one, four dollars for the Avon ashtray candle holder. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So what I'm gonna do here is try to figure out what I'm doing, right? No, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to go from small to large. Small to large. All right, so first we have, and these are all what we call those little egg cups with the three little feet. Okay, this first one is a Florida egg cup, has the three little feet, no markings at the bottom, has a beautiful design, or the gold rim, very cute, so that's our little tiny guy, he is five, whoops, five dollars, five dollars for number five. Okay, so. Oops, I get him going the right direction, right? All right. All right, so then now we are going to go to the next size up. And this one has the beautiful yellow flowers on it and it has that cracked egg look this one is made in japan made in japan and it still has the three legs like the other one that one is going to be six dollars six dollars for number 24. six dollars number 24 for the next size up Okay, 
I'm just going to keep on going. So, the next item is one that's even a little larger than that. But this one is a leftin. A leftin egg cup. Even still has the leftin sticker. Okay, this one, it does have the little chippies. Some of the, the flowers didn't make it so well. That's going to be $8 for number 36. $8, number 36. Okay. All right, hang tight with me, guys. Are we still there? Have I completely lost you? I don't hear snoring yet, so I guess I'm not too bad, right? <laughs> okay, well. And here we have the big, well, I'd say pop, but probably more like the big mama. Oh, my goodness. Look at how big this is. Almost as big as my hand. <laughs> okay. So, this one is really cool. It is yellow flowers. It's just like this other one. But it's definitely, look at that size comparison. Oh, my goodness. Oops. So, this is going to be $10 for number 35. $10, number 35 for the big guy here. Okay. Okay, so that was our array of, of eggs. <laughs> All right. And, of course, me going, going silly, going backwards to the, the holidays that already passed. <laughs> I found this really nice mug. It says, Father. And it says, Father, warm, wise, loving, strong, who first taught me right from wrong. It's very nice. It could be nice for Father's Day or even if your dad has a birthday. Made for treasure masters in Japan. So that's a nice mug. and um, it, I think it's a drinking mug. It, it, it does look similar to a shaving mug, but it doesn't have the um, that part where the, you scrape your um, brush. So that's going to be $7 for number 29. Seven dollars, number twenty-nine. Okay, we are getting, we're getting down there. We're almost done. All right, let's see. Well, let me see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more things. Or no, nine more things. And then our last mystery box. Okay, so we can stick stick with me for a few more minutes. I'm going to call this the speed round. <laughs> All right. We have this beautiful vase. It's sort of a creamy white color. It has red flowers and yellow. It has that nice design. If you don't like that design, you can just turn it around and have something on the back. It's the glass here. It doesn't have any markings. Nope. And that's going to be $6 for number two. $6 number two for the very nice vase. Okay. All right, next up we have these two beautiful little dishes. They're a cream color with the gold around the rim. And they are Lennox. They're Lennox. So, two of those, that is a $2, two triple T, number four, triple T, number four, for two of those. Okay. If you need a little more, and you want four of them, so we have four of these bowls. All Lennox. They're going to be four dollars for number three. And if you need all six of them, send me a message and we'll work something out. Okay. Definitely 
moving right along here with our little speed round. Okay. <clears throat> we have this very nice um, Lefton trinket dish. It is a seashell so shape. Oh, a little bit. A seashell shape. Now I'll try to say that fast. It is Lefton. And it's in really good condition. I don't feel any marks or scrapes or chips or anything on the bottom. The top is very nice, too. There's a few petals missing, but you really couldn't tell unless you got really close to it. So, here we go. Very pretty. That's going to be $5 for number 40. $5, number 40. Okay, sticking with the little trinket dishes. This one is very beautiful. <clears throat> it is Japanese. And it has very beautiful flowers and gold, which I thought was kind of interesting. It kind of confused me. It says Viking Imports, but Japan. So, Viking Imports from Japan. And so, whatever you'd like to use your little trinket dish for, for rings or something, or chopsticks, or whatever you like. That's $4 for number 39. $4, number 39. Oh, good. She's okay. She does. <laughs> That's my other line, but she's okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and we have another little trinket dish with a green um around. Yes, you could use it for air plants. Um. From there, that's going to be a triple T, two dollars, number 58. Two dollars, number 58. All right, I'm almost done, guys. I've got three more and my mystery box. And I will all head over to see Cindy. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I have these um, wine glass. Or not wine, wine bottle, like the Italian wine bottle, um, salt and pepper shakers. It only has one top. <laughs> um, and it has like almost a message in a bottle from the Roma family, and it explains the Roma family. And it's really interesting, but even the graphics are really neat. And that comes in the bottle. And that's going to be. Sorry, hang on. That's going to be $4. $4 for number seven for the Italian wine bottle salt and pepper shakers. Okay. A couple more things and we are almost done. And then I'll do the last mystery box. And then we will head on over. Okay. Sorry, guys. We're almost done in the last stretch. Okay, these are cute little, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, if they're cups or just, they have what looks like this little spoon. They're just little cups. They don't have any markings at the bottom. Not sure what you'd use them for, but they are cute. <clears throat> Five dollars, number 37. $5, number 37. Okay, we're almost done. Two more things. These are really cool salt and pepper shakers. They kind of look like thimbles on the top, but they're not. They're wood on the bottom and that Delft blue kind on the top. That I don't know if they are. And they have the rubber stoppers, very mid-century modern looking. Salt and pepper. Okay. And they are made in Japan. Okay. That's going to be $8 for number 38. $8, number 
And here we go for our duck mystery box. Okay, last item is our mystery box. Okay, this is going to be the $15 box for number 60. $15, number 60 for the mystery box. Okay, Blue Flamingo Mercantile. And look at that. We made it with five minutes to spare. Whew. All right. Blue Flamingo. If I say, oh, I'm so, all right. 58. Yes, I can. Yes. Here is the little pink trinket dish. Um, It's pretty good shape. It only has one little chip. Where'd it go? Little tiny chip right there, but overall it's nice. It has that wavy pattern, pink and green. And that's uh, number 58 for $2. $2, number 58 for the cute little dish. <clears throat> You're welcome. So we have maybe four minutes left. Is there anything anyone would like me to show again? <clears throat> okay. Well, if we're all set, um, that's everything I have for today. I'm, if there's anything else anybody wants me to show them before we go, let me know. If not, um, the information's down at the bottom. Reclaim Treasures by Mary is my address. And then you would send um, your information, your PayPal, all that stuff. It's scrolling right at the bottom. Um, if there's something that you saw, if you go to the replay and you said, oh, I really got to have that, let me know. And we can work something out. So everybody have a great week, and don't forget, check out Cindy um, at, yeah, sorry, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Oh, my goodness. So everybody check out Mimi. Oh. All right, it's time for me to go. <laughs> Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage is on in just like two minutes. Okay, so everybody have a good weekend. Enjoy your day off if you have it tomorrow for... Um, tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye!